Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with another part of Generations. I know I haven't been posting this very often, and I know I've said this in the last couple parts too, but with a household this big, it's just really hard for me to to like play honestly it just it feels really hard to play because i'm not the kind of person who like my sims can't just sit there not doing anything i have to have eyes on them at all times so with a household this big it just playing is really really slow and also i need to do a reset on my computer so it loads a little bit faster i mean you guys can kind of see here that it's taking a while to load um especially when i have big families this happens when i have um a file a a save file that I've been playing for a long time this happens so yeah that's just a quick explanation but anyways today it is Jasper and Quinn at home these are the only two people here today everyone else is at school well Sage is at work and then everybody else is at school so today is Mila's birthday she's becoming a young adult super exciting also sorry if you hear my dog chewing on her bone um, She's, she's just, she's going to be doing that. You know, it's just, it's going to happen, unfortunately. But Jasper is taking care of baby Quinn. It is Friday, so we don't have any, um, mm -mm -mm, any daycare kids to worry about, which is super, super nice. And I'm going to have Mila move, not today, but in the next part, Mila is going to move out. And she's actually going to leave Quinn here. I did ask you guys what you thought about, um, her taking Quinn right away or leaving him or what we should do in that situation and you guys did vote that see this is what I mean when I say I need to reset my game because what the f what is this it's also again because the household size but you guys actually voted for us to um, have Quinn actually stay here so Quinn is going to stay in this household and be raised by his grandparents until he is out why did the bus just go by is everyone at school? Okay, they are. Um, Quinn is going to stay here and be raised by his grandparents until he is a child and out of cribs, and then he will go move in with Mila. I am kind of curious to see if Mila is going to, you know, marry anybody, have a, like a serious boyfriend, um, have any more kids, like what the deal is going to be between... Um, between her like when she moves between when she moves out and when Quinn moves in I am very curious about that but we're gonna just have to wait and see we're gonna we're gonna just have to wait and see so like I said everyone is at work and school um Sage let's see I really 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 want her to reach the top of the career she's so close she should probably get promoted to level nine on Tuesday is my guess so that's really exciting. That will be happening soon. Um, and then Quinn needs to learn how to talk and be potty trained as well. I was going to say that's what we should do today, but the day is like half over already. So I don't really know. Um, we are going to go ahead and... Okay, look at you not listening to me. I love when they don't listen to me. Change his diaper. Oh, geez, Louise. They went on a field trip, so now all three of them are going to get the notifications for all four instruments. Oh my god. And Sage got a 31 small in an hour raise. I didn't catch what for because, oh my god. Because all of that. Okay, let's go ahead and feed him on the floor. And then Jasper... Oh my god. <laughs> Jasper is just going to clean the house. I'm not going to do anything crazy for Mila's birthday. Oh. Why can't I? Oh, be oh my God, I'm so dumb. Um, I'm not going to do anything crazy for Mila's birthday just because my plan is to age her up and then I want her to go out and get a boyfriend. Actually, she's supposed to kind of like date around and date a bunch of people. And I think she's only beneficial with like two people. She's beneficial with Antoine and then she was official with Lester and then she's been kind of romantic with I'm so sorry she's so freaking loud she's been romantic with Muhammad but they weren't like official or anything so yeah oh my oh these freaking animals you guys driving me crazy freaking crazy all right why don't you come over here and just kind of work on your skills 
he still has six days so we have all the time in the world to teach him how to talk and stuff and potty train and everything which honestly potty training he should probably get today anyways but you know also um forest has fleas and forest is at the age where he could literally die at any second so i'm very sad about that i really don't want him to die mostly because it gives all the sims in the house a really bad mood lit for like two days and i hate it and you can't not let it happen you know so it's it sucks it really sucks okay so the first thing we're gonna focus on is laundry mila should be home soon and i'm just gonna age her up right away and honestly just really focus on just her today because i mean the family's moving out or the family's not moving out she's moving out in the next part at some point so i think it just makes sense to kind of focus on her today mila please don't talk until it's over school's out in literally 10 minutes you can calm down how you doing sage are you getting there oh yeah she'll definitely get promoted on tuesday Oliver had a great time on his field trip, so did Wyatt. Wyatt got a souvenir, Mila got a souvenir, and a great time, and Sage made 1,251 simoleons today. Good, because when Mila moves out, she's taking some money, you know, she's probably going to take a lot of money, so we need all that we can get. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. She's going ham with that bone. She's going freaking ham. Also... I don't know i don't know why this like randomly keeps popping back up she is not pregnant this is just glitched here so please 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 do not think she is pregnant especially considering she's a literal grandma and she ages up in six days oh my god if she did get pregnant today she would become an elder the day that her baby became a toddler isn't that wild i love how his hat's forward now by the way that's funny um, and I think someone is coming home after school with, like, two of the kids. I remember seeing that notification. Um, we're going to try and give him a flea bath really quickly. Actually, okay. Mila is going to hold off on aging up just until Jasper gets the laundry going. Just because that takes so freaking long. And then the boys, which one has a girlfriend and which one has a romantic interest? Okay, he has a romantic interest of Mildred, and he straight up has a girlfriend. Okay, perfect. I'm kind of debating on if I still want Oliver to have a teen pregnancy. I think I'll have him maybe get his girlfriend pregnant on, like, Saturday or Sunday, so that way he's technically a teenager while he got her pregnant but he'll be a young adult by the time the baby's born i think that's kind of where i'm leaning towards um i kind of like that idea so i think we're gonna go ahead and do that and then i don't know if i like mildred for wyatt we'll have to invite her over and see but that's something we'll do over the weekend so he's gonna do his homework wyatt it, or oliver is not gonna do his homework because he's not a homework person and you just go ahead and honestly do you know what let's be a good person and help our dad clean the house that sounds like a good plan to me let's say zero dollars okay i don't even know why that was an option if it's for zero dollars that's really weird for zero dollars i'm so confused anyways oh my god do you guys see what i mean with this freaking game i love it so much but like holy crap come on all right i think i'm just gonna go ahead and skip until we're aging mila up just because um it's it's probably gonna be a while because this laundry is freaking slow and i don't want jasper to have to re-grab everything all over again oh okay so speaking of mildred she just called and asked if wyatt wants to go on a date so we're gonna go ahead and say yes it is a friday night his homework is done also the <coughs> god excuse me i'm so sorry um the reason i had all their kids do the homework tonight when normally i don't have them do that on fridays is just because i want to be able to spend like a family weekend together so i wanted to make sure they didn't have homework to worry about but we're gonna have 
Um, Mila, I forgot her name. She's gonna feed Oliver on the Quinn. Oh my god, I cannot with these names. I'm horrible. She's gonna feed Quinn on the floor really quickly, and then we're gonna go ahead and age her up. And she's obviously gonna go to a bar and find a new boo, you know, of course, because why would she not? So the younger kids finish their homework, he's playing video games. Wyatt is on a date. We'll get to him in a second. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and buy this cake, and we will age Mila up, and we'll see how Wyatt's date is going, and then we'll send Mila out to a bar, and just all this fun stuff. Hello? I hate when it does that. It, like, gets stuck with just, like, four right here. It's so weird. All right, buy cake. Put it down. Handcrafted birthday cake. I freaking love this thing. It's my favorite. You know what I really love that I miss? I used to have, before I like redid all my CC, I used to have um, seasonal birthday cakes. So you could like use a specific cake for the season you were in. That was super cool. That was one of my favorite things. Okay, really quickly, I need to think of a trait for her. Oh, be the girlfriend. Oh, girl. Girl! I love that. Oh, three? She's got three. She's got Lester. Antoine. Who else? Did we date Parker? Were we official with him? I know we woohooed with him, but were we official? I don't know. She's got three, so I'll take it. Um, a trait. That's what I need to think of. So she is genius, light sleeper, couch potato, irresistible. She has, oh, nothing from her mother. So she needs something from her mother. And she did get genius from her father, so we're good. Also, I can't remember if this was said in the last part or not, but Nadia is expecting, so we do have another grandbaby on the way. And I think I'm going to make Mila irresistible because I think that will really help with her, um, her lifetime wish. But we've seen birthdays a million times. I'm not really worried about it, so we're going to just jump out here and watch how this date is going. I will let everyone like eat the birthday cake and everything. So, um, all right, we're at a, a, a children's park. Okay, and Mildred is over here. Why can't I? I, what? Come over here. I'm also going to just change the weather to sunny just cause they're at a park. So like, you know, why can't I do anything with her? Um, hello? I literally can't do anything with her. Okay, let me see if I can do like a soft reset. I know that's a thing. Let's do a soft reset, okay. I'm so confused why I can't do anything. Let me go hang out on this and then see if I can call her over to hang out with me. Ask to join. Is she going to join? I love how we're having a whole last birthday party at home and I'm here watching two teenagers sit on a slide. Is she? Okay, it's still happening. Um, apparently Gumbo died. How sad. Girl, hello? I'm so confused. Okay, we can choose a trait for Mila. <sighs> God, I love Wyatt so much. He's so cute. Wait, is this Wyatt or Oliver? <laughs> I can't remember their names. Um, no, I don't know why I did that. We're gonna do Irresistible. Did I pass it? Oh, she is irresistible. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. So she does have a trait from her mom. Okay, well then we're gonna make her flirty, which is also a trait from her mom, but then also helps her with her lifetime wish and everything. Okay, I still can't, also this is Wyatt. This is not Oliver, this is Wyatt. I still can't click on her. I don't know what's going on. Um, Parker and Addison. Girl, do you remember Addison? Addison is, hold on, she'll pop up in our family tree. Addison is Lester's first wife. She is now getting 
romantic with Parker, who Mila hooked up with while she was with Lester. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna try and send them to a different lot and see if whatever's going on will be fixed. We're gonna go here with our date and see what's gonna happen. And then while they're on the way over there, um, Mila, don't grab a slice. You are going out. You are going clubbing tonight. I think the only club in this town is the grind right here. It didn't even open till five, so like perfect. She's gonna be exhausted, but it's fine. Let's go see what she looks like. I think I'm gonna, um, I'll change. Don't tell me that's your everyday wear. Please don't let that be your everyday wear. That's her everyday wear. Okay, I'll have to give her a makeover before we get to the club. But let me look at like her fit. Look, look at Layla in the back. She's like, you're you're going out. Are you sure? You're gonna go out like that. Layla's like, yes, yes, I am. Look, Lay Layla just. All right, bye. Have have a beautiful time. <laughs> Oh my god. Mila is actually really pretty. She's got that like smolder. I don't know how to explain it. She's really pretty. She definitely needs a makeover, which I will give her one. Don't worry. Um, as for the house, honestly, I'm just gonna let them do their own thing. And if their needs get really, really low, I'll just honestly, I'll just fix it tomorrow. I'll like cheat and fix it tomorrow because I don't really care. I want to focus on Mila. And then we'll give Wyatt a little bit of attention on his date, too. Um, I want to know, you guys, who you're thinking for Generation 2. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rule out Saf and Mila right away, just because they are so much older. And their lives have already really begun. So we have Oliver, Wyatt, Lincoln, or Layla. I do think Lincoln and Layla are kind of at a disadvantage because they're so much younger. Like, they're not even teenagers yet. Um, they're actually, let's see, they still have five days till they're teenagers. So we're not even going to get very much teenage time with them before this Let's Play ends. Um, I personally really like Wyatt. I think he's very cute and we also didn't get a lot of time with him because he was at boarding school for a long time. I also really like Oliver but I don't know if he has the traits or the personality to carry on like a generation's legacy or leprosy whatever you want to call it. Addison's here. We're definitely going to fight her um, and we need someone to be our next baby daddy. Oh there's lots of people here. <gasps> Lester's here. We're going to fight him for sure. Um, Ke <gasps> Keaton. Keaton. Hey, Keaton. I can't remember. Are you the older one or the younger one? This is our best friend's kid, but I think he's the older one. I think so. I think the younger one is still a teenager. Um, Kinsley, Ariel. Let's see. There's Keaton and Cedric. Cedric's married? Oh my god. I'm pretty sure Keaton's the older one. Um, she's gonna get with him, obviously. Let's get our little booties over here and introduce ourselves to him. I'm gonna give her a makeover, guys. Don't worry. I promise I will give her a makeover. So yeah, go introduce yourself to him. We're definitely gonna fight. Oh, it looks like Addison's leaving. We're gonna try and fight Addison and then try and fight Lester. Also, it looks like Addison is leaving, so we might not get the chance. Why is there a child pulling up to the club? <gasps> Keaton! Oh, honey, honey, you think we're hot now? Just you wait. Just you fucking wait, bitch. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I got a little bit distracted. I was doing her makeover, and then my friend sent me a link. So, anyways, I'm back. Um, Wyatt still cannot do anything with his date, so I'm just gonna send him home. I think it was kind of... Yeah, see, I can't even end the date. So I think he's kind of glitched out. I'm probably gonna have to reset him. But anyways, this is Mila's makeover. This is her everyday look. I think she would be an extra ass bitch and wear stuff like this every single day. I also love this. It's one of the cutest custom content things I own, but it's a little bit, um, I mean, look at the boobs. It's a little bit slutty. 
so I don't use it super often, but I love this baby blue and black combo. She's got some nice heels on. And we're just getting to know Keaton. He did find us attractive, which helps. Um, we have... Oh. Someone got to take care of the baby. They're flirting. I love that. He's doing his homework. All right, that's fine. You're not a homework person, but it's fine. Someone should take care of the baby, though. I don't really want to go over there and do that, but... Anyways... <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what her problem is. I'm so sorry. Um, but we're gonna just focus on Mila tonight because again, she is... Oh, I know what her problem is. My fiance's home. Of course. Great timing. Okay, sorry about that. I swear, every single video of mine, he <laughs> some way interrupts coming home, calling me, something. Um, anyways, we're just getting to know Keaton here. I think it'd be kind of cute if they ended up... Obviously, I'm not gonna force it or anything, but... Oh, Brittle Brush Academy. So he went to the art school. That's crazy. Um, but I think it'd be kind of cute if they, like, low-key had a baby and then broke up because then it would actually, like, bring our families together. Oh, he has a wife. And she's here. Wait a second. She's that old bitch that Lester was dancing with. Oh, honey. No, no, no. We've broken up a marriage before. We'll do it again. Don't worry. Also, Lester is still here, so we have all the time in the world to go and fight him. Um, but I really want her to hook up with Keaton today. I don't know if there's a place to do that here. He thinks we're hot. We are 10 out of 10 blindingly stunning. Um, there isn't, so I'm going to go ahead and just um, edit this lot real quick. And I'm going to put a photo booth down because that just seems to be the easiest place to... Um, get a woohoo in, honestly. I might have to go through, like... No, it should be here. Okay, there we go. All right. And I don't even really mind that it costs us 2000 of our own dollars. I am going to just jump over here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Best uncle ever. What is he doing? Don't put him in the playpen. You should put him in his crib, honestly. Put Quinn in his crib. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to send everyone to bed. And I will fix their needs in the morning. As far as, like, we'll just pretend that everyone took care of themselves today. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Wyatt, especially since your bedroom's downstairs, he's going to... He's going to go put Quinn in his crib. Okay. You're going to make me do this the difficult way. Pick him up. Did he walk away? Make him fall in love with you, okay? You need this. Okay. Put Quinn in his crib and then go to sleep. All right. Perfect. Sorry. I'm supposed to be getting on with Kayla soon, so I'm just kind of watching my phone for that. Um... Honestly, I want them to, like, legit enter a relationship right now. Like, that's how fast I want to move. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a flirtatious joke just to see how he takes it. He's probably not going to accept it because he's literally married. So you, yeah, see? Usually if they're, the way I have found it out, it's not always like this, but pretty close. Um, if they are just dating someone, you have to be friends. If they're engaged... Efron transformed into a bright and well-behaved boy for the most part. We believe this had a lot to do with your discipline and care. We appreciate the time you spent with Efron. Oh, Efron, not Efron. Um, so he's no longer coming to our daycare. That's totally fine. It's totally fine. Um, but like I was saying, I... I found that if you're if the sim you're trying to get romantic with, if they're dating someone, you have to be friends. If they're engaged, you have to be good friends. And if they're married, you usually have to be best friends before they will start allowing any romantic interactions or like accepting romantic interactions. So let's ask to be protected. Let's. Oh, hello. Let's make a silly face. Love days in the air. Um, Mila and Nadia are no longer friends, which is kind of unfortunate because Nadia actually started as our friend. Like, that's how her and Saf met. So, kind of sad that we're not friends with her. Ugh, this bitch. Okay, he's just going to the bathroom. So, while he does that, we're going to take this 
as an opportunity to come over here and order some hot wings is is our ex still here i think we're the only ones left here oh you know a good way to find out come over here we will woohoo with okay so he left so unfortunately we're not gonna get to fight anyone but this does give us the opportunity okay did you get a cat broken up with or something? Because <laughs> usually this happens, like, the heartbreak is if they break up. It's usually, like, a death symbol if they died. So I think... I didn't know cats could break up with other cats. But interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so it looks like Lester and whatever her name is left. So we're not... Um, Keaton, please don't go. Are you a zombie? <gasps> Keaton, No! come to me <laughs> oh my god that's the best thing ever I got a mod if you guys didn't know I don't think I've used it a whole lot in my generation save but I got a mod where you can control other sims that's kind of what um, this sim control is here and that has been so freaking helpful to do the whole like calling people over to you the only issue is you have to obviously be able to click on them um, and this bitch needs to get out of here so we can do like a soft reset so she just kind of leaves us alone all right we're gonna go dance we only have till four in the morning so we actually need to not dance we need to get moving on this flirting um so let's ask to be protected let's make a silly face and okay tell a funny story we need to we need him to let us flirt honestly she wants to be friend nadia again we can definitely go ahead and do that yeah we only have till four in the morning so we need to hustle and i know being funny gets your interaction or gets your friendliness up faster so <sighs> be good friends be good friends make another silly face be good friends come on oh my god i'm gonna try to blow him a kiss. Hopefully he doesn't reject that. Oh, he accepted it. Period. Period. Okay. Flirt with him. <gasps> See, he's getting in that flirty mood. He took that step forward. Okay, no. Too soon. Too soon. Sorry. Sorry. Let's ask about your day. Oh my god. This is not gonna happen by four in the morning. Oh my god. The rest of the people in her house are like almost awake and <laughs> she's still out at the club no do not walk away be good friends please good friends okay thank god i'm gonna try this like i said usually if they're married you have to become best friends but sometimes good friends does work <gasps> yes keaton we only have 30 sim minutes before we get kicked out of here so i don't think we're gonna get to it but, you know, fuck it. Fuck it. We're going to risky woohoo with him. <laughs> Maybe we might run out of time. We might get kicked out before we actually get in there. But we're going to risky woohoo because literally why not? Like, why? Why not? Who cares? I should have put the photo booth, like, right next to them so they can just turn and get in. Yeah, they're going to get kicked out. This place closes in, in one minute. <gasps> no! No! Damn it! Okay. Ah, all right. We're gonna send her home. That is it for this part. I'm. She's like, I was about to get laid. What the heck? Um. So in the next part, I'm gonna play both Saturday and Sunday in one part. I am going to have Mila and Keaton risky woohoo officially become in a relationship and then Mila's gonna move out and then we're also gonna take the whole family to the spring festival we're gonna get our spring picture taken um, so that's a lot to do but we have two full days where nobody goes to work or school so it'll be super super nice but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you let me know by leaving a comment thumbs up subscribe you guys oh Sorry, I'm like burping. That's so gross. You guys know the deal, and I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.